You're listening to a Pave Media show. Visit pavemedia.net for more podcasts and video entertainment. Welcome back, everyone, to the Aladdin review special. This is a review special, well, so full spoilers. Wait, wait, welcome to the Aladdin. Re- We're not welcoming them back. Well, we haven't back done the, this before. Back to the Fake Nerd Podcast. You're yeah, right. but you I said, don't know why I did that. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back, back to the Fake Nerd back Podcast to this for sh- our Aladdin sh- review special. I, I have the perfect one for this. Do you? Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali, this is full spoilers for Aladdin. Yeah, spoilers. no shit. It's a 2019 film. I spoiled it for Ben, and then I gave him shit for it because I'm like, dude, it's the animated movie. <laughs> um, so if you, but so you, if you, you haven't seen the 1992, was it 1992? It was. Yeah. Yeah, the Good 1992 call. film Aladdin. Is it Brightburn? Shh. <laughs> mm, not, this, not. not this If day. you have not seen Aladdin 2019, uh, go see it and come back. Hold up. So care. I'm Spark Swinney. Oh, you're getting there. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it was taking a while. This is Sparks Whitty. <laughs> Hi. And with me is Ben Magnet. I took a bite of my ice cream. Hi. Ryan Eliopoulos. I am Ryan Eliopoulos. <laughs> I'm Brandon T. McClure. And with us again, because uh, we, we do this on the same day. Shut up. <laughs> you don't know it. <laughs> um, is uh, Marty. Dude, spoilers. Martin J. Sullivan. Hi. And uh, Sam Law Sullivan. Hey. Hey, guys. Thanks for being back. Thanks for coming back. Thanks, I thanks appreciate watching, you making the huge these. trek to see Aladdin with us right after this long episode you did of the podcast. Oh, man. We definitely didn't record it the same day at all. Did not do that. Nope. nope Thank you for all. joining us for these movie reviews. If you guys couldn't tell, it's late. We're loopy. All right, let's get into <laughs> this. This could be fun. Hey, guys. I like I'm this surprised it took me this long to get here. <laughs> what, to Aladdin 2019? To... to, to this tired. Oh, yeah. that shit crazy <laughs> All right. So Ryan, yeah. your initial thoughts are you liked it? Yeah, I liked it a lot actually. There's oh. only really one thing I dislike about the movie, really, but Heck everything yeah. else, everything else, I'm pretty on board with. It's <laughs> probably my favorite live action Disney remake. Uh, ben, yeah. Anime movie still better. Well, well, yeah, well nobody yeah. will ever well, say well, otherwise. That's not the argument here. Did no. you like this movie? I know I did. Okay, I enjoyed it. You know I what? Did. You know what? I will pay you five bucks. If they ever make an animated film that is better, if they ever make a live action remake that is better than the original animated, you'll pay me five bucks. I'll pay you five bucks. Oh, Deal. That's not a remake. But you're gonna it's lose reimagining it's semantics here. <sighs> what am I Technically, lo- they're all retellings. Oh, 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 oh. Shake my hand, damn it! You're gonna pay me. I'm not gonna say Maleficent counts. I'm also yeah. I'm also on your on that page. Okay, yeah. Let's shake on that. If it yeah. ever happens, you'll pay I'll me pay five bucks. Fi- I'll pay you five bucks. Lion King, July twenty first. Oh. <laughs> no. no way. Uh, no, 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 no way. No absolutely way not. Hell. Absolutely not. Okay, but no, so you no, liked a- it. Actual feelings. I I have a few thoughts, but all in all, I enjoy it. I enjoy this a whole lot more than Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, uh, I like the animated movie better. As no, kidding. that's part of what. Say what, what general your consensus thoughts? on the panel here is anime mo- movie is better. Correct. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't think there's ever going to be a time where that's not going to be the case for Disney. I'm <laughs> Hence sorry. Hence my yeah. bet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sparks. Oh, yeah. I had, a, I had a great time. Cool. Hell it yeah. was a lot of fun. Uh, Sam? I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, Jasmine was pretty perfect. Marty? Is this movie based on water? That's my first Is initial it thought. Burn? <laughs> is it based Actually, on water? You know what? You know what? My f- so <laughs> this Were is they all going to be in boats? Like... <laughs> So, oh, I guess oh, how it opens. Yes, okay. So, I, right. I, actually, I actually do have a, a little funny little anecdote. It, it might be funnier in my head, but whatever. Um, I, we were watching, we were watching the animated movie uh, before I before we went to see this one because I haven't seen it in a while. So I was like, yeah, screw it. Let's Same. Refresh. So I was watching. It, I was and it was like, you know, someone was at the market was selling fish. I'm like, where the hell do they get the fish? They're in the middle of the desert. Mm-hmm. How? And then in this movie, they're a seafaring <laughs> kingdom. I was like, that's where they got the fish. They actually fixed a lot of things that were not really issues, but just things you don't think about. Sure. Like, oh, they, they kind of corrected a lot of mistakes or things you don't think about. It's yeah, nice. that's yeah. a lot of fish. That's oh, oh Nick Tatopoulos. Oh, I think that's what's really great about the anim- uh, the new movies and the anim- then the animated movies is it really comes back and it fixes things. Yeah. Like Beauty and the Beast did a great job of like all those little questions you had, it brought that back. And I felt like Aladdin did the same. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything in the animated films need to be fixed though. I, I think it's a different medium. Mm-hmm. Truthfully, what I think it is is it's a different medium. You need to approach it like a different medium. Yeah. When you're looking at something like this 
as a live action film, you need to address things they wouldn't need to in the animated film. That's uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I don't mean fix. I yeah. also I also think that they're made in different eras, and yeah. you can't be tone deaf to the era you're making the new movie in just yeah. to replicate the original. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Case in point, when uh, Fanny and I we were, we watched um, the anime movie just last night. <clears throat> And when we were watching, or the other day, when we were watching it in the scene after A Whole New World where they're in China, I'm sitting there going, how the hell did they get to China so fast? Because uh, Mulan was coming out in a couple of years, so they wanted to have a quick time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah but Prince of Egypt I'm, also. Well, well, also, I'm watching I'm watching this one, and I'm watching the animated one, and then the new one, they only just fly around. Dream works. Ag- okay. They fly around only Agrabah a little bit. They don't go to Greece. They don't go to China. They don't go to all those I'll other places. I'll be honest. I missed that. I, I missed the idea that they went around, not around the world, yeah, but like but around. Same. I, yeah. But also, I see where you're coming from, whereas back in the 90s, it was a cartoon. You just accepted it. It's like, hey, look at all these gorgeous places. that Because Aladdin is showing Jasmine the world, yeah. you know, a whole new world. She was only trapped in the house. Whereas this one is like, okay, we can't realistically go to China from the Middle East. We got to like keep it. <clears throat> Somewhat grounded. Yeah, they wanted so. to, yeah. The animator really wanted to show you some unbelievable sights, mm-hmm. give you indescribable feelings. Yeah. Yes. We know. The I song. mean, every moment got better. <laughs> we know the song. You guys. <laughs> I just. Hate, I sing that shit in choir. I just hate all of you. No, you, you don't. Us. You love us. So, how do you guys feel about Aladdin himself? I like <laughs> him. See, I like him. Mm. I, I like didn't, him too. I, honestly, I didn't love him. No, I think he's of the of the three mains. I think he's the weakest. He is because Jasmine still like him. and Genie stand out so high. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. they are so good in this movie. Who, I almost feel Jasmine? bad. Naomi Scott. Naomi Scott. Naomi yeah, Scott. Uh, I think I almost she's feel, excellent. Yeah, I almost feel bad for Aladdin because I almost feel like he gets shortchanged in his own movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, little, a little, little bit. A little bit. I found. I found. I found Naomi Scott to be more compelling, 100 um, percent, than than Aladdin. But I was into Aladdin. I liked him as an actor. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. I wasn't crazy about his costume because I don't. I don't really like the idea. Of, like, let's do modern, but make it look ancient. Mm, I I think you I just don't want have a to see him shirtless. I'm not sure. I it's, want to see him not, shirtless. It's not a real place, so I don't think hoodies existed in wherever Agrabah set was set. What hoodies? He wears a hoodie. Is it a hoodie? That's a cloak. It's, it's a cloak. For sure a hoodie, yeah. Is it a hoodie? For right? sure. It's like, it's, it's like a hoodie oh, it's vest. Like a cloak. He's got a hood. Mm. They have hoods. Robin Hood. <laughs> They've had hoods for thousands of years. Robin Hood didn't Assassin's wear a hood. Creed. Robin Hood didn't wear a hood. <clears throat> he wore a hat. He did in the BBC show, and you like that show. Oh, I do like that show. Case yeah. in point, they definitely shut had, down. Like, the shawls, though, that like covered mm. their... They had like the shawls that covered their head. Like even the animated movie, like Jasmine, like was able to pull something up over. Sure, her head. Mm-hmm. but this uh, was definitely like a sweater vest. This is a sweater vest. Yeah. The hoodie on it. Yeah, look, I'm not gonna spend too much time on. it. I just thought it was entertaining. Um, I yeah, so I really like Naomi Scott. I think she's great, and I I'm kind of wish they cast Aladdin better. But I I think both of them played off each other well. I I thought that they had good I, chemistry. I would question how much of it was. I don't think it's. I don't him think being it's, cast poor and how much of it is not directed or written well sure yeah. you know what i will say i will say as much as i like naomi scott her new song doesn't do much for me it's good it's just mm-hmm. it stands it really stands out as being a new song as modern like yeah. as opposed yeah. to the original songs you can tell like oh this is not part of that original movie yeah it's, <laughs> it's not, very clear it's not helped by the fact that the moment where she sings the whole song is basically a music video yeah yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Also, also By there Thanos. Was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people had that thought. We yeah. were watching. We were, we were watching. My, my girlfriend and I we were watching it, and uh, and I go, "When did Thanos get here?" And as it was going, and as it was going, and they were all fading away, I just leaned my finger over over in front of her face, yeah. just snap. Our, our good friend Marty here said the exact same. Or Sam, did you say it? It was you, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Good job. No, there <laughs> Marty was... always gets the credit. <laughs> sorry, I'm I was sorry, actually Sam. surprised that. Uh, no. Uh, I was actually surprised for um, Naomi Scott's Jasmine's new song. Because there is a song, uh, Bird in a Gilded Cage, from the Hyperion musical at California Adventure that they had. F- at for, yes, yeah, know, I remember, yeah. And that was a really good, that was a, a good Jasmine number because she, it was the song, her, I don't know if you guys seen the um, Aladdin musical at uh, Disneyland. Nope. But the song was basically her saying, I want to be out of here. I want to leave. I That's why she was singing about free. a Bird in a Gilded Cage. I- I don't think it's the same song, but a similar song exists in the Broadway version, too, okay. I think. I was a little... I kind of wish that they had included Proud of Your Boy. Yes. Yeah. I was upset that that didn't exist. Yeah. Proud of Your Boy was a song that, Ben, you look confused. I never heard, I don't okay, think so I heard Proud it. of Your Boy, Boy is deleted from the original film. Oh, But gotcha. they put it in the musical. It exists on oh, the Broadway show. It's, okay. it's him wandering the streets, and he's basically singing, like, the chorus lines are, you know, then would you be proud, proud of your boy, singing hmm. about his parents who have 
in that version did die, but they just aren't there. Okay. Yeah. In- implied abandonment. Okay. So I, I kind of I kind of wish I would have seen that because the the musical numbers and I, have, I feel the same way a little bit with Beauty and the Beast. However, I think it's a little bit better handled than Beauty and the Beast. Is that we just kind of get to the musical beats because we have to. Which is why I'm kind of excited that Mulan isn't going to be a musical because you don't have to structure the film around these predetermined beats. You can go somewhere else. But every every musical number, because they chose to make it the, the same movie that make it the musical, they have to find a way to get to those moments. And they don't always feel, feel natural, especially I, with a new song. I do, I do agree with that. Not not for every song, but there yeah. are certain points where like, oh, we need to start the song now. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, uh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, like Genie's Genie's songs feel natural. Yes, they do. Everything with Genie's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but like, sometimes Aladdin starting a song feels real unnatural. I think the one that actually stands out the most to me is One Jump Ahead. It is. One Jump Ahead feels real forced and sudden, maybe because it's the first of the film, but I think also just execution-wise. Yeah. I also I also found it interesting that they chose that song to be the meet cute between Aladdin and Jasmine instead of just the first number of the movie. Yeah. Because in the, she's not in she's not in that she's moment. not in the number right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's not in the number in the in the, in the original movie I'm okay I'm personally okay with that though because like give me more Jasmine give her more yeah. agency all it's that not, stuff it's not yeah. necessarily something I I disagree with it's just something I found interesting yeah it does get you a little more invested in their relationship faster it does sure, yeah. which is important I think yeah yeah I yeah. agree I thought it's a fun looking by, sequence by the time we got to the scene where he takes her hairpin away and he's like I'll meet you under the moonlight and the next night blah 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 yeah I I was like. Wow, I'm real sold on this relationship. I believe these lovebirds. I believe in them. Yeah. I want this. I was very <laughs> invested in the relationship yeah, at that point. Um, yeah. Honestly, like, the beginning of the movie, the, sorry, the uh, the moment the movie began with Will Smith starting to sing the, uh, the Agrabah song, I was Arabian like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm sold. I already, I love, I love it. I yeah, like, because I was Will Smith singing Arabian Nights and yeah. even a little updated version of it. I was like, no, this is, I like this a lot. Yeah. It was really cool how they did still keep the moment of it being Genie as mm-hmm. a different person telling uh-huh. the story of Aladdin. Uh, I thought that was really cool that they found a new way but did that. Yeah, yeah. Although, although I could have done without the the movie telling us that's what that was. This is the Genie's future telling the story in the past. Later on, in the movie when they're just like, "When'd you catch that?" Well, I knew. Like I've always known that that's character oh. the Genie. I didn't. I didn't think it was. Until neither did I. Until maiden. and she until yeah. she was introduced and he was looking at her. The second yeah. I didn't assume this was Genie's future. I just I just because in in uh, the animated one I don't assume that that's necessarily Genie. Right. I just assume that's a dude, but it's kind of like a dude standing in for Genie, yeah. and you just accept it. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. I mean, but yeah. Yeah. I yeah. didn't call it until so, the second. Oh, the Genie said, "Hey, look at that cute handmaid over there." I lean over to fans like. 20 bucks that's for the beginning of the movie that's what I exact same thing I said of Sparks yeah mm-hmm. and, I, and I and I kind of didn't I don't really like that it was just like okay and we can have three children you have two children you can tell them stories and we can have a boat and blah blah and like as she's saying the things we're seeing the beginning again but in like faster things so I'm like okay yeah, I didn't need that I, I, I personally didn't mind it I think I, I it just seemed unnecessary yeah. is really what I'm getting at um, so let's talk about Will Smith let's just get right I Sorry, just real quick. I think the reason they did that is because they did a weird thing of not going back to the family with the end of the story. Oh, good point. Well, they don't go in the original, in the original film. They go. No, I know, but they, but in the, the original film, he's just talking to you, the audience. Right, that's true. Uh, and technically, if that is Genie as a narrator, Genie also closes that movie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in good the point. original. So I think that was one of the reasons they showed the flash forward is because maybe that wasn't the original intention, but in this edit that we got, they don't go back to him telling the story. Right. Uh, so yeah, so let's talk about Genie. He's uh, incredible. I really like I Will le- Smith as I the Genie. I legitimately now okay. <clears throat> Robin Williams is great. He is amazing. He's fantastic. Hands down. Hands down. You're never going to beat Robin Williams. I would argue, with enough time passed, that people will like this just as much. Growing up, if you grew up without the Aladdin from the '90s, I think this is such a great representation of that character. Without knowing anything about Robin Williams, he does his own thing while still loving the character that was before him. I think. I think this is awesome. Like truly like one of the most fun things I've seen Will Smith do literally like in a decade. I, was I watching, loved it. I was watching this after I got out of the film. Um, you know, I, I said, I said, to my, I said to my girlfriend, I was like, you know, I don't know if I, if I have a desire to watch the movie again. However, I would just to see the I want to see it again just yeah. to see him do like his silly reactions to, to Aladdin. Like I the really, jam stuff is killing me. I inside. really like how Friend Like Me starts mm-hmm. when he's got the monkey doing the thing. 
clean. It's just like well, I, I was like, there's doing no. The, like, he does like the little, the little bah. like small saloon version. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, it's like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just the he, full thing. The full the drums, number. The, fu- the drum set kick. The second the full number starts, I'm like, this is more like the full number. A friend like me is incredible. It is. Yeah, I thought that was a lot of fun, uh, mm-hmm. and, it, and it brings so much energy to the movie that the movie is kind of lacking at that moment because it's very, it's kind of, it's kind of just going. And I will agree uh, again. Like I really like this movie, but I don't think the movie really got started until we met the genie. Yeah, like it, the yeah. movie was like it was pretty good, but then once Will Smith popped, and I'm like, okay, now we're at the movie we've been waiting for. Yeah, and then the rest of the ride besides. Jabbar, I also good. love how he looks down to Latin and says, "Okay, where's the other guy? Where's your what? master? Yeah, the, your boss. Where, where is he?" And then because he doesn't believe, he's like, oh, so you rub the lamp. You're actually, oh, okay, I can dig there's this. There's always that guy. Yeah, there's yeah. always that guy that who always up, tries to get my <laughs> lamp and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah I, I really like that because in the in the animated one, Gene just pops up and says, okay, whoever rubs, rubs the lamp is my master. Sweet. I also really like in the in the number, in the song, he doesn't know Aladdin's name. Yeah, so I like that too. A good, that's a good beat I thought too. that was a good little beat. It's, it's nice that he's just, they, because, you know, they don't just do the song verbatim. They've actually done... They've done a little bit of a rewrite, yes. not much, but they kept it close. Yeah, um, but it is enough to notice that it's like, okay, this is different. And all the songs have a little hip hop flair to them, like, uh-huh. like Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel Air, and it's it's just yeah. it, it's yep. a nice it's a nice it's like you're getting the same meal, but it's got a little bit of spice on it. It's like yeah. a little different. Yeah. It's uh, nice. Will Smith said way back we talked about it that the three things he was pulling from were Fresh Prince, Hitch, and Robin Williams' performance, and I feel like all three mm-hmm. are present. in yeah. this Oh character. yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. I forgot about Hitch. I love, I, I love the bit when he's dressing Aladdin. He's like, "Oh come on, Genie, come on, we got this. that." Is not a oh. big hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the, or the, or the bit like I, 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 I died at this moment when, when, um, when they're in their little thing. It's like, okay, here's what you got to do, and the, and the carpet is. Just building sandcastles. Oh, oh yeah! The and he yes, goes, I loved that. You saw that too. Yeah, he, he makes the Disney castles. castle. I saw it too. And he throws I, the sand over it like a shooting star. star. Yeah. And Zara didn't catch that. She's like, "Why are you laughing?" Neither like, did Oh my god! He, did you not see that? <laughs> I always, went, I always yelled to the projector, "Rewind it!" <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was hoping you guys caught that. I was hoping I was not the only one who caught that because I loved that. I thought just, that was so funny. The carpet just builds the he's building a sand castle. The next thing you know, it's like the Disney castle, kind of like uh, Cinderella castle in Orlando. It does a sand. I'm like, oh, that's great. Oh, you know what was also really great? Uh, the carpet and and uh, Abu's relationship. Oh yeah, uh, that yes. was super cute. Yeah. That was great. I, I love like, when carpet is torn at the oh. end of the movie. Oh my god, you really feel and, and Abu's just dragging him. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, just dragging his corpse. Uh, Sam and Marty, thoughts on Will Smith's genie? So dead silence. This is great for podcasting. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot. I definitely, being a huge fan of the original movie, I definitely came in trying my best to like come in with an open mind. Um, And also, like, I don't know, like if you saw, I saw images beforehand and the the images images looked kind of wonky. And I was like, I thought I was going to walk into that like 90s yeah, I uh, don't. Kazam movie. <laughs> oh boy. And so like I was really worried about it, but I like went in and I really enjoyed it. I don't think Will Smith looks great as the blue genie. I like I think it looks good. I'll tell you why. Because it is not a Photoshop uh, face print. It is a 100% digital recreation like Tarkin. They wasted all that money by not just putting Will Smith on a blue screen. Yeah, it's kinda, all a digital recreation. That's why it of, looks like that. I kind of wish that it was done a little bit more uh, performance capture and less and less like. A, just why didn't creation. they do that? I don't understand. And especially because they did it for Beauty and the Beast, and, and the difference in how like I don't think the Beast looks great, but it definitely moves like a like a thing, like a real thing. Yeah. Whereas Genie just kind of moves like a CG created. created like when he's thing. when he's completely blue, like you know he's not real. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like you totally could have done a like. There must have been real reasons why they didn't choose a motion capture route. I just think it's it doesn't look as good, yeah. sure. being fully digital. Yeah, I kind of so. I, but his performance just outshines it it. out. His yeah. performance outshines it. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Every time Will Smith was on screen, I was like, "This." If Robin were here today, he'd be proud. Yeah, I would. F- I, I think 100%, so. I hundred percent feel that Robin Williams is proud of Will Smith right now. Yeah. However, I don't think Robin Williams. Um, oh, well, I just had I. I, th- I think Rob Williams would have been in this movie, much like jo- just, mm. just like um, Mufasa, yeah, like yeah. James Earl Jones and Mufasa, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, okay, so we're kind of we're kind of I don't want to get to Jafar yet. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, wait, uh, Marty, did you have any thoughts on Will Smith? No, not really. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was great. He was fantastic. His timing was awesome. So yeah, he's got a lot mm-hmm. of great, great comedic great timing. Comedic yeah. Timing. Um, I think Iago is absolutely pointless in this movie. Of course. They don't even say his name until like the third act. 
Like, uh, he's yeah. a pretty little bird. <laughs> Iago in the original movie is kind of, is Jafar's buddy. Yeah. yeah. Like there is not la- it's not a lackey master thing. It's like they're friends. They <clears throat> they conspire together. They I, bounce off each other. And the anime in going I going back to the anime movie, he gives Jafar the idea of like, "Hey, how about you're that chump?" And Jafar's like, "What do you mean? You marry the princess, you kill the sultan and then mm-hmm. kill the Jasmine, then you're on the throne with no problems." Yeah. Uh I agree with you that like as having a character, he's pointless, but he's actually super plot relevant. Like Char- Jafar can't actually carry out a lot of things the way they scripted this movie Yago without is Iago eyes. having seen those Yago's things. Iago's his eyes for everything. Oh yeah, that's right. He, like they made him plot relevant. Mm-hmm. I'm he's not a present character. Yeah, and, like that. But that's so. Like when he shows, he shows up. He comes into a scene, squawks at Jafar, leaves the scene. That's his purpose, and it it, it just kind of but bugged he, me. But you. you uh, Sparks is right that he is plot relevant because he does see the lamp and t- steals it from Aladdin. He sees the lamp. He he's, sees Aladdin breaking yeah. into the palace. A he diamond says, in the rough. Diamond in the rough. And yeah, he's he's super like written mm-hmm. into the script to like be Jafar's eyes and be the reason why Jafar but he's more is ri- able to get any steps ahead of yeah. anybody. But he's more one jump ri- ahead, if you will. Yeah, but he's more written like an actual parrot instead of like Alan Goffrey's. Alan Tudyk is wasted in that role. Here's the problem: like yeah. you can't have one animal talk and not have the other animals talk. Like it's 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 like a one or nothing thing. Yeah, like, you got it. Like, Abu doesn't talk. No, right. I know, I know, but like you can't or have Raj. these these super eccentric character like you if you have a yoga talk then abu has to be i feel like he'd have to be way more than just being a monkey even though he is a monkey i don't think that's true i think that iago could have talked and it would have been fine because he's a parent i wouldn't have wanted iago to talk if you're if with this style of movie in this version of the film i don't think Iago. i'm explaining it badly but like for this version of the movie having the one parrot talk wouldn't it'd be like this is a regular this is real life this is supposed to be real life right i I feel like they could have played around with it though where like with Iago talking, it would have made Jafar seem more insane, which would have given more him more character. If if he was the only person who heard the bird, that'd be awesome. Right. Yes, but I I can't even think about that. You could also what, put a sorcerer yeah. spell on Iago. Yeah, I was honestly I was perfectly fine with Iago being a parrot, being same silly parrot things. Um. Yeah. So let's just talk about Jafar then. He's a bummer. Yeah, Iago's definitely not the problem of the sucks. movie. Jafar is he's the just, problem. He's of the a movie. bad car Jaf- salesman. He's just boring. He's not Guys, intimidating. Uh, I Jafar told Ryan. Sucks. I told Ryan while we were watching it. I, I leaned over and I'm like, I think that Jafar is as intimidating as Benny from the Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was. I was because I, I. You know, I don't think Jafar is great in the movie. I, I, however, I. I I will pause it as on Jafar. I prefer his new motivations in this film. I think it's quite interesting, uh, the idea that he wants to go to war. And uh, However, I did notice that some of these Disney movies are really obsessed with war lately. Yeah. Um, Christopher Robin, World War I. Uh, World War II. Whatever. There's, there's also just no good reason for it presented. Like, sure. it's, it's neat that, like, oh, he's obsessed with, like, wanting to go to war, but there's no good reason given, and especially, like, his obsession with it being her mom's kingdom. Yeah, they just bring that up to like put some personal weight between them, but like, there's no good reason for why he's like. It seems like I'm a, gonna, I'm gonna like get a, that speaking like of their mo- speaking of their mom. There's a moment when uh, Aladdin and Jasmine bond over the song that their both their mothers talked about. I thought for a moment, would they make them siblings? Oh Jesus! <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, this isn't game. Of um, anyways, but so, I hated Jafar's motivation. I felt like there wasn't any motivation. There like, isn't. I preferred it. I preferred it to like. I'm going to be creepy and marry the princess. Well, no, no, no. That, no, one, that no. one, he wanted power. Yeah, though. in the in the he anime one, by he power. wants to be sultan, and marrying her is part of that. Yeah, that's like, why that's why I mentioned earlier. Be, Iago says, "You marry Jasmine, so you can become the sultan." Right, rising up and being the the ruler of Agrabah. That's enough motivation. I didn't need him to be going to war, mm-hmm. and if like wanting to go to war, and if that was something he wanted to do, especially if he was going to keep name dropping her mom's kingdom, I needed a reason for it. Yeah, like yeah. he hated her mom for some reason or something or like blamed her for something sure um i will say i do like his new origin where he's like an aladdin yes he a was rat. a street I, rat i love and that he gets idea to do some of that to aladdin for that scene yeah where he told aladdin i'm mm-hmm. like you and then they never did anything with it again and i was like wow this is garbage no, no, he, did, he put the hood on and he stole the lamp. Stole i know lamp. i know that's not enough for me that, that that's enough i just uh, for, i wanted me, there to be more 
like follow through with that like because yeah. you know even Jeannie says like once you get a little bit of power you just keep wanting more yeah and, and so i wanted that him to be craving that power not some random war that we don't know why yeah and, no and yeah, right there and right there is exactly the problem of the fact that like yeah that'd be great but guess what the thing isn't that he started from the bottom and now he's trying to get to the top he's also like oh but i want war with other countries like really specific no i i agree with the war thing that doesn't make any but sense that's why i'm saying because they went with the war thing that is dropped yeah his whole thing like i'm like you aladdin that's not a parallel they played with I f- it's a cool idea that they don't explore enough. i don't like it at all but i feel like they didn't they didn't have enough with jafar already because he already sucked so like oh well how do we make him worse just make him a warmonger but that I doesn't a, make him a better character i think a lot of the problem with jafar is that they cast him wrong yes i i think that has a lot to do with it and so i was th- so i was thinking about this um you know i was thinking like who i would prefer to play i got jafar. it i already got it and you know what <laughs> Both of them already played Jafar on Once Upon a Time. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, do you know the 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 major um, soldier guy, Hakeem? The guy who was like the loyalty guy who was really tough? Just switch Jafar and Hakeem because Hakeem is a guy with the with the the presence yeah. and the loyalty and the in the the beard. <laughs> yeah. Like, and the age. And the age. The uh, age is a problem. Yeah. The age is a problem. Um, I was, but yeah. So I was like, you know. Odin Fair would have been a good Jafar. Yep. He was he was Jafar in Once Upon a Time. The the guy from Lost was Jafar in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Also oh. would have been a good Jafar. Like I think Once Upon a Time. What I'm trying to get at is both times Jafar showed up Once Upon a Time. It was a better version of Jafar than yeah. this. And uh, but to be honest with you, I I don't even think yes he is horribly miscast. But even like Odin Fair or either of them being in that role wouldn't have saved it because it was written. Well, no, wrong. you need you need to fix the writing as well. Yes, but I think I, it, part I, of it is the casting. It is it is partially the casting, but it's also uh, a really strong example to me is that Jafar isn't into being zany and fun Mm -hmm. yeah i i don't like that we lost the whole i'm gonna disguise myself as an old decrepit prisoner to trick aladdin bit Mm -hmm. part of what makes jafar fun is that he's wacky enough to want to do that in order to get what he wants Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when jafar finally has full power as the sultan in the animated one he swings his staff like a golf club to knock the tower away that's carrying aladdin and gleefully cackles as he does it Mm -hmm. that jafar is not in this movie and also he uh, when uh, Lion comes back in the anime movie, he's giving him all these things like, get the point, a bunch of swords drop down. He's throwing all these puns yes. and then finally when he turns into a giant snake, he's like, oh, I'll he, just show you I'm how so snake-like glad. I could be. so glad the giant snake Well, of course you are because you, yeah, you hate snakes. Yeah, you hate snakes. <laughs> um, um, so well, glad. My big thing that I want to talk about Jafar is I just did not like this actor's performance at all. Every time he was on screen, every time he would talk, he would... He would give the lines just like this and talk in the same Actually, monotonic really voice the entire freaking movie. Unlike the other Jafar, where he would be like, "Yes, I must find this one, this diamond in the." Ro-. He gave the inflection. He gave personality. Yeah. Whereas this one is like Aladdin. You and I are the yeah. same person. We have always been the same. I'm, I'm a thief just like you. Listen to this impression. Yeah. See, this, worse, and, yeah. and, and then I was also bummed that he didn't sing Prince Ali is not as you know him. They right. cut that song. Sure. And like when you were talking about... Well, oh, I, didn't yeah, want that, the, the I didn't want that Jafar to do it, to be honest I with you. I love that could. evil Prince Ali version too. Yeah, yeah, so do I. Yeah, that's such a bummer. And him just not being... The gravitas of he Jafar. He never called him Prince Abubu. Yes. Yeah. There is no a crime against humanity. Well, it's not... It, it's... it's of Ababwa, it was yeah, yeah, but he change. still could have called him yeah. Prince of yeah, Abubu. I, I, th- I thought that was an, I thought that was a strange change. It was of Abab of Ababwa. Um, uh, real, real quick, uh, I wanted to just say that I think the um, I like the Sultan. I, yeah, I no, yeah, the Sultan. Sultan, Sultan was. I really don't good understand one. when Genie makes Jafar Sultan. Why it wasn't? Why it was just? Here's just a hat. It's a symbol. Take of one pa- hat off. Take one hat. It's one a. Hat it's kind of well, like a, a king's crown. It's a symbol of power. But it's isn't a isn't of in the animated isn't in the animated movie? He takes perhaps, his clothes. Perhaps I just re- perhaps I just misinterpreted it. But in the animated film, it's not just he gets a he gets an outfit change. The whole of Agrabah changes allegiances to support Jafar. That's what. No. I, that's how I interpreted it. No. No. It just uh, makes him. It just makes him sultan. It doesn't. It give just. Him it just brought the, in the thunderstorms, and that actually happened when he becomes sorcerer, not that sultan. I, that I knew, but I, I thought. I thought that you know 
he still has to earn the respect. He, he just yeah, you don't you don't see other characters or anything sure. in the animated that's one, right. so you don't you don't see like anybody like switching sides. He maybe just, that maybe he, that's why I he just, just takes on his clothes and he's like, "I'm Sultan," which is why I kind of liked the way they did live action because mm-hmm. I always thought it was kind of silly that he just puts on the clothes. I told you about the Broadway version where the finale is really lame mm-hmm. because it's just a far standing on this pedal, pedestal where he goes, "Make me Sultan," and then his clothes are go from black to white, and he's like, "Make me a genie," and then his clothes go from white to red. <laughs> wow. And it's like, wow, that's <laughs> and I gotta, and I Actually, gotta say. I kind of miss the Hyperion Disney one because every time the genie does a, he's like, "You are now the Sultan." <laughs> if your last name was Pepper Shaker, you'd be Sultan Pepper Shaker. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's that pretty was good. everyone laughed at that joke. I like that. Um, I had a thought about Jafar. I, uh, I'm trying to get. I back got one. To. Um, so yeah, I don't really like Jafar, and I was hoping that it would be saved at the end when he turns into a super genie form. He just looks like a, a, a like a, br- a no. We nailed it. It's, he looks like a, the the not the dude who's hide in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but the oh. dude who takes the hide formula. The guy oh. who becomes like the abomination version of Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, I didn't get a good look at him. We we don't spend a lot of time with the, looking at that design. Yeah, but so he you looked like that. Impression. He looked like that. Yeah, uh, and it's, then he takes Iago with lame. him into the lamp. I saw how great Lindsay Ellis actually tweeted. She's like, so now that Iago's not actually like talking and he gets taken into the lamp, is this going to be a redemption trilogy for Iago? How he gets out and he's the savior? I'm like, no, Lindsay, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. So when do you think we get the sequel, uh, Return of Jafar? We don't. Never. <sighs> Here's the thing. If Jafar didn't suck so much, I'd be like, oh my God, I, I really want that. Well, what if kind he came of, back as can't, a different actor? You can't really do Return of Jafar because Return of Jafar is almost entirely a story about Iago redeeming himself and for that Iago would have to be a character. True. Mm-hmm. And Genie would have to be a, a Genie. What if spending all this time in the lamp made him talk? <laughs> now I'm cool with Now it. you're cool with it? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. Damn, you're right. I, I actually was really bummed out about Jafar's Genie form. It wasn't... It yeah. just didn't feel bombastic it wasn't scary. enough. It's, it's lame. Yeah, Everything about him is lame. Going yeah. back to the anime movie, he gets yeah. the phenomenal... Co- he's literally creating a universe with his hands, mm. and then he gets the gauntlet shackled on him and just throws... And that was like, that's cool. That's ge- That's the one I want to see. This there one is a, just like... There is a something... I'm buffer now. Yeah. There, there is something... Go, Can right? I... Yeah. Thank you. I've just been trying to say something okay. for a long time. Uh, Jafar is just a thing that is not fun in this movie. That is fun all around everywhere else but no. not him even in the original anime like even when it's bad things Jafar's still fun to watch yeah. and this Jafar just sucks he does he's super super sucks he's the actor is not good for it he's just not twisted enough and I almost feel bad for that guy because I'm sure he's a talented dude but so like, do I. he's just yeah. completely miscast um, I'm not sure he's talented I've only seen him in one thing I cannot say mm. I cannot make that claim um, I think the final sequence where Genie is with Jafar and the whole the whole thing is just kind of visually boring and claustrophobic yeah like including Genie like in the animated film I, I really you know you you try not to compare the two so much, but they are remakes, so it, you have to, and so you, ha- you really do have well, to. When you have something that works, why not just do that? Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and the original, they the whole tone of the world changes when Genie is under the sinister. Jafar. It's very sinister, and this Genie's just kind of like, oh, yep. hum. He's, he's just like go- poo poo when he drops yeah, his like honey. The, yeah, like- he's he's like yes, master. Whereas. Robin Williams in the original, he's all his whole color changes. He's all, darker. The he's entire sadder. persona of Genie changes yeah. when when he is with, and you get the impression that that Genie changes with whoever with the, is his master. I really wanted phenomenal cosmic power Genie who picks up Agrabah and yeah. puts it on the yeah. I really yeah. wanted that That'd shot. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Um, truthfully, the the last as as much as fun as this movie is, the last. 20 minutes are just kind of boring. Mm. I like the Iago chase. It's filmed well. The big bird? Cool oh, you mean oh, yeah. the, the, kai- cool the Rodan chase? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, wants my that bird. is a cool chase. Uh, we've been dominating for a while. Marty, Sam, any thoughts on what we've been saying? Uh, that chase was really cool. I enjoyed it. Marty too. did not see it. Marty <laughs> had to step out to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you're not a big fan of birds though, right? He's terrified of birds. So it's literally like perfect. It was the, the <laughs> most perfect thing. When I told him about that, he thought I was lying <laughs> because it, that was something I would do. I would lie to him about a big bird appearing, but <laughs> I was not lying, but he totally thought I was lying. That's hilarious. But yeah. I was really sad he missed it. <laughs> Save it for the DVD. Uh, any other thoughts about Jafar guys? Oh, I mean, Jafar was, you know, that one character that we all will love and adore forever and ever, right? 
That's, Mar- that's what we were talking about just uh, now? <laughs> Marty and I spent 45 minutes of a drive yesterday talking about all the ways in which you could have improved Jafar <laughs> um, just because it bothered us so much. Because it, the, I really think, and I do want to get off of this and talk about more positive things in the yeah. film because yeah. Jafar is, is the big black hole of suck that is in this movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's just when everything else is, has turned out so well. It especially for these so things much. where people don't anticipate it doing well being a remake of this classic and it's like wow you guys actually reinterpreted a lot of this really well he sticks out like such a big red sore thumb and not in the good way because they don't make him red enough when he's gene right? yes um so let's get let's move move off, off of, of it yeah. um so genie gets a love subplot i'm okay with that and you know what if it wasn't played so well by will smith i would have hated it but he sells it for her me. too. Yeah, yeah, I was I was gonna say I really like the handmaiden. Wh- yeah. who, She's great. Um, I can't. I remember think her, her. name's Nassim per dad. She's from SNL. Yeah, I she do is. not. I do not think the inclusion of that, uh, like, uh, supports the film. Like, makes the film better at any way. I think you take it out and whatever. But I think because the performances because mm. it's played well, I think it saves it like, saves it. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is actually when uh Man, Will that kid's rubbing off on me. No, when the genie goes up to the door and Dahlia answers it and she goes reply she's like, Oh, you can tell Prince Ali and she's like, No, this is from me to you. She's like, <laughs> One moment she closes the door and she's like, Yes and it's then really the Jasmine's cute. like, Yeah, go have fun. It's really it's a, cute. It's a really cute scene. I, I really that. enjoy yeah, that's it. The, that's the scene where where Jeannie where Jeannie's like stumbles and like man that gets rubbing yeah. off on me. And also I like the the party scene where it, <sighs> this is gonna get a little personal here. It reminded me that scene reminded me of a lot back when I was younger and I was trying to talk to the girl I liked and I would have one of my best friends be like hey just be yourself I'm like yeah no and he's like you mother go talk to her just he was the genie and I was the lad in the case where I was really scared was to talk yeah, to her there's, yeah. there's a lot of fun stuff in that party sequence um, I through my last girlfriend I got pretty obsessed with Bollywood movies I still am I quite, find them quite fun mm-hmm. okay. and enjoyable uh, so seeing a Bollywood sequence and this was like yay yeah um, but the uh, the whole like genie like genie controlling him was a lot of fun just seeing Will Smith uh-huh. play that is, yeah. is just yeah. a lot of and fun and that dude's a good dancer too yeah actually dancing oh, that's cool yeah. I didn't nice. know he was actually dancing I was hoping he was I got scared that was a stunt double no he's like a real good guy yes yeah. it's like a Tom Holland I really enjoyed the the love interest I enjoyed Dolly a lot I thought she added a lot not I mean she added a lot to genie but like just seeing her and Jasmine Mm -hmm. getting that extra time with Jasmine seeing Jasmine be this like girl in love and get those like little giddy moments I think added so much to the characters and Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it not only that I think what's really important is that Dahlia provided a really good scene where Jasmine didn't talk about Aladdin but talked about what she wants for the kingdom of Agrabah oh yeah and how she wants to help her people which is a really important thing because that's a new thing in this movie is she wants to be Sultan (laughs) yes which is awesome I really like how Jasmine in this one, she's book smart. She's like, I want to see the world, but they won't let me. So all I have are my books. And she is very, she's, she's learned. And I really, really like that. How she, how she's like straight up telling the law. And I think, um, there's some part in the movie where I think the Sultan says, you know, you would make a good Sultan. And then I lean over family's like, damn right. She would make her Sultan. Screw this law. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Not to jump too hard back onto the Jafar thing, but this was something where I wish that Jafar had had more of a presence throughout the film, picking at Jasmine of slamming tradition down on her and putting her down and, and doing it in the snide way that the anime film version does it. But but that would have provided a much more heated relationship between the two of them, whereas their interactions feel small and not uh, consequential enough. Yeah, sure. That, I can that would have also you know made speechless a little bit more like... Wanted. Yes, exactly. That was the thing we, you and I talked about. Right, I remember that now. Uh, that that speechless would have had a lot more power if he had been shutting her down up to that point in the film, and it was specifically targeted at him. Yeah, I, that's a good point because during speechless, I kind of was listening to this and like, what are you talking about? What are you singing at to? Who's 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 it's, who's it's, this? it's, it's, the, it's the, uh, the tradition is there and it's stated a lot, but it's not shown enough. It's, yeah. it's a thing that a lot of like, not necessarily just Disney movies, but it's like we want to attack you this bit, tackle this big issue, but not really. We want to yeah. we want to be presented as tackling this issue, but we're not really going to go for it. Yeah. That's what I get from a lot of these. Yeah, like, well, I think in some ways even they are tackling it, but the setup isn't there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually I do have one tiny little problem with speechless is that when she started singing. I didn't know if she was singing to the guards or if she was singing to herself. Like when I, I finally caught on that was going on in her head when the guards 
like Thanos snapped. When they That's vanished. kind of the I, only other problem I, legit I have. Legit didn't know what was going on. W- yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I was when, like, when Wait. it starts, when it starts, and the people, and the people disappear. I'm like, is there? Some weird magic happening Did she just right now. Kill everyone is Did she, she like? Is she, she a ma- these people? Is she a sorceress? How did she do that? Uh, yeah, I I was saying to the others uh, after we saw it that I think the reason why that comes across so strongly is a music video moment, and you kind of go, uh, what? Yeah, I don't know how to feel. I kinda... Is because she starts singing with the guards and then goes into the fantasy, and I'm mm-hmm. like, if it had been fantasy from the moment she started singing, I feel like we all would have gone along on the journey and been fine. Yeah, like, right. but if... because it starts part way in, yeah. it feels really. Like just a sudden whiplash. If change. the guards would have disappeared at first, yes. then she sings, no problems. But right. halfway through the song, you're like, oh, we're in a different movie. What's like she's, happening? Yeah. Like she's being carried away by the guards, and then she starts singing. I'm like, girl, why are you singing? It just it visually doesn't play yeah. the way that yeah. uh, the intent probably and again, was meant and, to. Um, so yeah, I, I have two. I have two song issues. It's one jump, which you kind of talked about. But like Brandon, you brought it up when we talked about the clip of one jump, where it's kind of slow motion, weird. Yeah, right? yeah. No, Sparks actually brought that up. Sorry, yeah. Sparks, initially, yeah. and so. Uh, in the movie, I was like, oh, maybe because um, uh, uh, the, the Prince Only Fabulous He song, I don't have a problem with that. When I saw the clip, I didn't like it. But in yeah. full context of the movie, I liked it. I one, still don't like it so in, the, in the context of the film. Uh, it still but, reads a little flat yeah. to me. Uh, one Jump Ahead, for me, it's still weird. And it yeah. still looks like this is like a weird a weird stylistic choice that's just not working. And it's it, a Sky Ritchie trying something and it, it's not working. It does happen in other parts of the movie. Really? Yeah, so in the... In the it's nowhere more egregious than no, that. No, yeah. it, it isn't. But in the, um, in the dance sequence in the party, he does implement the speed up motion. It, okay. It doesn't slow yeah. anything down, he does, but he does speed up. Even so, the oh, wedding okay. scene, even the end credits wedding scene too, he's speeds up and slows yeah. down. Oh, yeah, so okay. he, he does kind of experiment with the speeds, but he shouldn't be. <laughs> and in One Jump Ahead, it's Not it's the all. most plain and yeah. forward yes. and really uh, uh, egregious and upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the fast motion still bothers me because that whole section where they're walking with like their hands it's next so to each other. It's so weird looking. It, it looks like I'm watching Laurel and Hardy all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. Like, first thing, I'm like, missing. this is messing me up. Don't, yeah. don't do this. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah um, it's, it's a weird... Choice. Uh, touching, touching on the Prince Ali thing, uh, I never watched the clip, and I just heard people talking about it being like, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to like this in movie. Context, that was real bad and I flat. Yeah. Um, I was watching it, and I'm like, I don't know what everybody saw. I'm having a great I, time. And I saw then this, I thought the same and thing. Then I, and then, so this l- is literally what happened. Uh, honestly, part of it is Prince Ali opens with the genie with a gigantic hat. After he's like, that's not a big hat. And that's <laughs> yeah. playing off the context that's really hilarious. well. But then uh, it's we're watching it and I'm like, I, I'm not seeing what everyone else was seeing. I mean, I guess this could be more fun like the original. I wish Jeannie were popping into the crowd as different personas while singing the song and, and then, then he did uh, it and I was like, I have no complaints. Yeah. Yeah. He just he just cross-dressed. The I'm Prince happy. Ali for me was like, <laughs> that to me that, to film that scene, I wish I could see the behind the scenes of that scene because that looks like it was so much fun to film. Yeah, yeah. And I, to be honest, I don't know how the one shot, because it broke me and I thought of you, is the shot where it cuts to Will Smith behind a bunch of children. He's like, so many monkeys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I can't deal. It's, it's or even when he's, oh, sorry, but even when he's like the, the one of the girls up with the veil, they're in the scene of the veil and his and his veil falls down Ooh. to see the beard. He's like, oh. the the, the Yeah, so... The Prince Ali sequence in the beginning of it, and the clip specifically, the clip that's online. Yeah, the I don't, I don't think the beginning of Prince Ali is good. I think the I think the moment is flat and kind of dull and shot in a way that just highlights the dullness of it. Uh, you know, if there was ever a moment for Guy Ritchie to experiment with anything, camera shots or anything, it would have been the Prince Ali sequence. Um, however, when it can, after it continues and he's starting to pop up in the audience, that's where the energy comes from and that's where I start to finally feel that there's some energy in this, mo- in this uh, moment. Piggybacking off of that, uh, I do agree that I think Guy Ritchie never having filmed a musical before shows, mm-hmm. he picks very weird angles that don't display the dancers mm-hmm. well enough in a lot of the shots of the dances. Yeah. Uh, he, he picks these angles and shots where you don't get the full sense of the body motion that they're putting the hard work into mm-hmm. and he he returns to those shots repeatedly and I'm like man go somewhere else get a different perspective they're doing cool stuff and I'm not seeing the best angle yeah it, it's it's kind of unfortunate yeah I mean like that that kind of thing shows and it's not in like a way where it ruins the movie but it definitely is like this definitely could have been better just by putting the camera in a different spot yeah yeah, yeah exactly um, so uh, I don't know Raja oh, is great yeah. Raja's Tiger. cute mm-hmm. hardcore heart Raja heck yeah. yeah I liked Raja yeah um, Whole New World was I really liked that sequence I think like I, like I said I think I think the two of them are really great in that sequence mm-hmm. their I, chemistry I, is awesome yeah. Yeah. yeah so good I just kind of wish 
you know, it was more along the lines of, you know, we're we're traveling to exotic locales. We're seeing some fantastical things. Yes. I mean, we're still seeing yeah. some unbelievable sights, if you will. I, I, didn't, I really go, didn't ooh, want to go there. Yeah. Ah. yeah, I wanted to go ooh and ah. But we're, we're, for most of the for the whole New World sequence, we are just on Aladdin and Jasmine. We're not seeing much of the of what they're seeing. Well, we are sometimes, but it's not a lot. Where I still like it as a musical number. Like, if I'm listening to it as a musical number. Uh, I do really like how they bring it back at the end to, because it works really well with Jasmine's arc, mm -hmm. to her, them looking at the people. He yeah. brings yeah. her to look at the people exactly. of Agrabah yeah. rather than like, we're in China watching fireworks. Yeah. Like, it, it, it works better. Yeah, that Mulan's I just standing that down there looking and going, who are, those people on top of the, who are those people on top of the castle? What the hell? White people. I really liked it. I thought it felt, made it feel more, more real because... They're obviously not going to be able to make it to like China or Greece. They are on a but, magic carpet. They can go wherever they want. But I think the whole thing is, I, I like it because it's, you know, showing her her world. What mm -hmm. she wants her to see. It's her world been able to that she can't explore. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. and I really appreciate that. You know, he, it's him showing that like, I know what you want to see. Let me show you these cool things that you don't get to experience. Mm -hmm. We haven't even talked about the prince. Which, oh, oh, the, oh, yes. the shoehorn white Man. guy. No, you know what? I thought I was going to have a problem with this guy. Love him. I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. I I'm so glad white, they picked that the one white guy dude. from Game Night. Yeah, the one yeah. white dude is like the biggest buffoon. And he's like so... And, uh, so, and Ingrid goes west. Ingrid goes west. He's like, is he right. Swedish or Nor Norway? What, I, what is he? I think he's some sort of he's Scandinavian. A silly white. He's, he's just Scandinavian. Just, stick with, oh, just yeah. say Scandinavian and you're fine. It's like when she insults him and he's like, yeah, they all say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him so much. Yeah, I didn't expect yeah. to... That like is, that that is all the cats love me. Come here, puss, puss. Come here. <laughs> you know, I, I that's right. He was killer, and he was he was in it, the movie just the right amount. Yeah, yeah. He, I, he didn't overstay. Yeah, I, I heard someone was saying. I don't know if it was ta talking with you guys, but someone said, "Yeah, they found a way to shoehorn white people in this movie." It's like I even said that before I saw the movie. Yeah, yeah, I was like. But I had a feeling it was going to be that the prince. I'm like, that works. And it wasn't that like that arrogant jerk of a prince like in the original. So it was like, no, this guy is actually kind of funny. When they're talking about shoehorning and white people, he's not the person they're talking about. Is it Alan Tudyk? No, what they're talking about is that there are people in the... So this is the thing. There are okay. people in the back round extras and things. They are done up with darker makeup. Oh. But they are white people. And the reason this was done, Disney has talked about the reason that, that they're claiming this was done and people still don't love it. Disney made a statement and they said, look, the reason is because if they were that, if they were a white person done in makeup, it's because they had a particular skill set. They were there for safety or for a stunt or for something like that. And they were there for their skill set. But we still wanted them to be part of the kingdom and not just be clearly white people. And that's what had happened. Sure. It's a, it's a mm. double edged sword, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so, but that's who they're talking about. Okay. They're not talking I, about those main cast members. Not okay. the They're talking about these background people who it's like, oh, why was that? Gotcha. A white person done up in a little bit of bronzer. Gotcha. Okay. My favorite, my favorite prince was, you want to see my palace? Oh, oh man. I, I just, just want to go home. <laughs> what uh, happened to that prince? I'm I hope sure he, he disappeared. Home. I hope he made uh, it home. W also, I loved Genie's little middle finger to Aladdin <laughs> when he's looking for a babwa, and he's like, look, it's Disneyland. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like fancy land. It's like, just be yourself. Land. Also, I really love the reference to the animated film when he shows the hierarchy of genie's oh, power yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's the a actual yeah. like animation drawing of Aladdin, uh -huh. the Sultan and Genie. Yeah, I also, appreciate that. Also, I kind of like it when um when Aladdin's like, "So I get three wishes." Right? He's like, "No, you have two wishes. Let's rewind the tape." And he's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. actual oh, rewind the tape." Like, and, he, right. and he turns out to the audience and he's like, "Oh, oh. I haven't seen that one, <laughs> <Yep>. sneaky monkey." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was great. I wish th I honestly wish they'd leaned a little harder into the fourth I wall. I wish I yeah. saw it more, yeah. I kind of would have liked I that. genuinely wanted the movie to still end the same way the anime one did, Made which is luck. where the moon turns and it's Genie's face laughing, and then he like moves and then the he's film like, ah, cell. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, uh, but like the whole, how do we feel about Genie being human at the end of this movie? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Uh, as a person who wouldn't mind having so much fun with this movie and Aladdin and the King of Thieves sequel, hell yeah, I'm like, oh man, I hate that you depowered the Genie because I'd love that. Yeah. Yeah. But as a like singular film, I don't mind it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think only, that's where I'm sitting too. Same. Like the only Aladdin sequel I sadly have seen is Return of Jafar. 
I, nev- that's I've, not a bad one. It's not bad. I've never seen King of Thieves. Neither have I. I would want Return of Jafar if Jafar didn't suck. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> comes back, it's a different actor. I don't, he did it's fine. It's Especially fine. because they did hit the, like, your only second thing. Yeah. And his song mm-hmm. in Return of Jafar is incredible. And it's your only second rate, which he sings back to the genie because oh. he's now more powerful than him. That's Holy so good. shit, that song is really good. It is. I know, and they keep hitting the second thing. No. And I'm like, man, I wish I liked this because I'd want that sequel. Do you guys know who Jonathan Young is? No. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. All right. So, Brandon, Jonathan Young is a guy who does Disney covers, but in a, as a metal slash rock version. Awesome. And the first time in, I want to say, over 20 years where I've heard your only second rate was him singing that. Yeah. I could have, when I was driving home from it's work. It's a great song. I was, yeah. I was like, man, this is a really good song. And I was like, it, I feel like this is like from Return of Jafar or something. I don't know. You know, I, the only thing that stops uh, Return of Jafar from being, you know, as good as like King of Thieves or something like that is that. Uh, I don't think um, Homer Simpson is as good as Genie. Sure, I think that, that, kind of that, that, yeah. that not having Robin Williams there is, yeah. is hard. I I think there are other is- issues with it besides that, but but There's I, definitely an animation uh, that definitely, issue. That definitely takes. Oh, a it step does. Back it does it. not look that very. Good. No, no, King of Thieves looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one. That's surprising. They okay. put they put effort into King of Thieves. I would That's, like to see King of Thieves. So would I. Yeah, I got him, baby. I gotta I tell you, uh, what do you not have? I That's hope a better question, Sparks. I hope uh, after Power Rangers was not a success. I really hope Naomi Scott turns into a superstar because she yes. really is like she phenomenal. She is a really talented person, and I want her to have all the success. And I hope I see her in another musical because she's got she I, she did yeah. Lemonade Mouth for the Disney Channel like ten years ago. <laughs> uh, you know about you Sa- know, Lemonade Mouth. I, I know. Yeah. You taught me about DComs, Disney Channel original movies. Uh, Lemonade Mouth is awesome, and that was like ten years ago. She's been killing it since the dawn of time. Yeah, hell yeah. Wait, did you not know about the Disney Channel original movies? I didn't know they, didn't were, know called they were called DCOMs. Oh, okay. Because that's uh, like an app go thing. Ahead, go ahead, guys. Do you have anything to add here? I love her. Like, she is amazing. And a lot of times in movies, because they don't sing, like, uh, like that's not their voice in that moment that's re- obviously recording. Mm-hmm. But, like, and you can tell that they're not, like, singing. She is singing. She's belting, man. She is, like, in it and feeling it. And so I know, like, Speechless isn't, like... Yeah, it's all music video y and stuff like that. But like you feel it from her because she is singing. It's still a good song. Yeah. My only yeah. thing I my only issue with speechless is that it feels out of place in the movie. Completely. Yeah. But she's like killing it. I'm watching her sing this and I'm like, Yes, I love it because like yeah. almost everybody else, you can tell that they're not singing. And I know like that's not the version of that like is act- that we're actually hearing. But the fact that she is in the moment if right you want then. want people to sing on screen just to uh, watch Les Mis. Mm. <laughs> yes. Russell I mean, Crow. I think it's amazing when people do that because then you feel it. It feels more real. And I so it made me so thing. connected to her. I, uh, yeah. yeah, man. In both times she sings that song, it's almost like one take where she's just like walking through something yes. to sing. And yes. I'm like, yeah. man, you are so good. Mm-hmm. I really yeah. hope she blows up. Same. She I do too. Disney money. Uh, I, you probably hated this, Brandon. Uh, I really like the moment where Hercules Jafar's staff returns. Oh, oh screw that! Oh yeah, screw that. That was cool. The way they that did was it was cool. Oh, you with the what? snake? I can't yes. even yeah. say that. I didn't. Uh, as soon as I saw that snake, turn my head. I couldn't. I couldn't look at it. <laughs> I it. thought it was cool. Yeah. I loved it, and I thought the new staff looked and really as, cool. As soon as the staff started moving, too, I was like, can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how did you sit through a uh, cause scene in Jungle Book again? I didn't. Close I've told way. you this before. I've told you this before. Yeah, right? He blacked out at snakes on a plane. Mm. Yeah, I believe that. I believe because um, in, in, Jung- in Jungle Book, I, the clip was online, so I was like, okay, I'm going to prepare myself because after a while, I can kind of like get through it. Uh, it's hard, but I can get through it after a while. That's why I can get through most of Harry Potter. But for cause sequence, as soon as I'm watching the movie, I'm like, okay, I'm prepared for this. I know it's coming. I'm pre- I've prepared myself. Scarlett Johansson starts singing. I'm like, can't do it. I left. <laughs> Scarjo, <yeah. laughs> Um, Hercules. Yes. Hercules. Uh, Ryan feels very passionately about the uh, Greek warrior Prince Aladdin gag that Genie pulls near the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, as a nod to Hercules. Hell yeah. I just want Hercules live action. That's all I, I want. Also really it, that, that's my stand. I stand Hercules. I also really but like... they're going to make Hades into a Jafar. Oh, no. I told Don't him that's my that. fear. Don't say that. <laughs> I really, I, I really like um, how Genie was like. Okay, wh- last wish. What do you want to do? You want to, you want to make yourself a Greek hero? Make your, you know, <laughs> do you want? I've had some ideas about this prince thing. How about warrior prince? <laughs> yeah. <You> wanna get- <laughs> do you want to get rid of this law? We can just say the word. The law is gone. Yeah. Uh, like I like, and, and you know, want to be. It's free. very sweet. Yeah. Uh, I, I prefer. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I Man, it really, like I, I, I would see this movie again because I would, I want to see Will Smith. Again. I will see this yeah. movie. Again. Also, I like how Aladdin still has Jasmine's hairpiece, and yeah, when she cute. says, 
your sultan commands it and he finally gives it back and you thief yeah and she and she's like it's fine don't worry about because i like how she takes the throne and aladdin is just like i'm with my lady i don't care uh we also we did touch on hakeem earlier i do want to point out i thought that moment was awesome that she yeah. appeals to hakeem yeah yeah and that like the whole key, like all of them there recognize that like i'm sorry you're right. Mm-hmm. You are our princess. Our princess. Yeah. You are our sultan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I'm in the wrong because while I enjoy the uh, caricatureness of the henchmen in the animated original, mm-hmm. they're very very cartoony in their allegiances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like it's very easy to shift them from Jafar to the sultan yeah. in that movie. But I like that they, they actually punctuated that and hit it here, and it's like this is why she should be sultan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh. Maleficent. Sorry, but Maleficent is the first. Thing to get like a sequel, like a Disney live action sequel. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast isn't going to get one. No, no. Jungle Book is getting one. Jungle Book is getting one, depending how Lion King does. Will if they re- if they do Aladdin two and they just recast Jafar, are we good? <laughs> are we good? Yeah, but they won't. They won't. They will won't it, recast him. There are still issues. Like now, Genie's depowered. Yeah, they can and do Yago's new, not a. They character. can do a new original sequel, maybe. It'll, it'll, maybe not. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. uh, and I still stand by, like, in this version, I think even if they recast Jafar, I think, like, the Return of Jafar story just doesn't work with where they decide to leave things. Yeah, you're right. What I think is a far more interesting film is following up on doing the King of Thieves story, which is essentially doing a what story about... What is King of about, Thieves about? I know it's, it's about, about his dad, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. the King of Thieves is Aladdin's father. Yeah. And that is the whole thing. You is know that the four, he, Alibaba he thought, and the 40 Thieves? He thought his father was dead. So does that actually make him a prince then? No. Oh. Well, a prince of thieves, I guess. Well, but know, that's not like a, a nation or anything. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, that's who that's his father. But the whole yeah. the whole narrative arc of uh King of Thieves is that Aladdin and Jasmine are about to get married. But he's They're questioning finally getting married. He's questioning if he actually belongs or deserves it because he sees himself as nothing and doesn't even understand where he came from or who he is. And then he finds out his dad is alive, but he's the king of thieves. He's a bad guy. And he's like, I wanna get to know my dad, but he's also a criminal and I've moved away from that life and it's this whole thing and Jasmine is like you've got to you've got to at least try and know your dad or you're not going to be happy until until you at least yeah. give it that that's chance that's awesome I like that story it's a really good story okay. they go to find uh, Midas's gold hand right? yes yeah. Midas's oh, treasure Greek yeah. stuff the hand of Midas interesting yeah uh, Hercules and Aladdin they know each other it was a crossover episode of, their, of both their TV shows that's true that happened yeah I believe it Jafar in the underworld uh, is recruited by James Woods so that they can pit and it's James Hell Woods yeah. as yeah. Hades and I the original hate, voice of Jafar. I hate James Woods but I love Hades. And, and no, he no. recruits Jafar uh, to, to help him pit Aladdin and Hercules against each other. I'm going to YouTube this later. It's real yeah, good. That sounds no, great. James, Both those shows are pretty rad. Yeah. Uh, no, because it kind of kills the whole Hercules continuity but whatever. Who gives a shit? <laughs> it's a cartoon. I know. The Hercules, it's a, it's a continuity, the Hercules is, continuity is. is killed by the by the movie. Just air, in general, air that, Jordans. You know, Ryan, air I, I talked to Ryan about this um, a little, a little bit. Like, you know, you want a Hercules live action film. Yeah, I would too, but I would kind of want them to lean more into Greek and less into pop culture. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of my own, my only, my only thing about that. Um, that's I want I them to say. lean more into gospel. Hell yeah, yeah. guys. Thoughts on any Hercules? <laughs> Hercules, <laughs> Aladdin uh, Hercules, here. I, uh, I definitely think that the the gods. Should just strike everyone down. You oh right. God. You right. And I um, like your I like your ideas. What else? Do you think those TV shows are going to be on uh, Disney Plus? Uh, uh, eventually, oh, yes. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah, I'd love to watch those again. Um, would you guys, Marty and Sam, would you want to see uh, an Aladdin sequel to this? No, I no. would not. Okay, no. I would only want to see a sequel because I love Jasmine so much, and I want to see her do more things. Yeah, yeah. I, I had so much fun here i i would want to but i don't feel like they set it up well for they, one they yeah made i made it they gave it such a good button and it's over it's done and they did it so well and i think especially since they took genies like since he's not a genie anymore i feel like it really stopped that from happening yeah the magic would be gone like not to make a joke but like the hall the magic right. would be gone <laughs> right that's especially what made the movie yeah like, exactly pretty yeah. good right. and like if you mm-hmm. take that away yeah it's just like an okay aladdin and a, a good jasmine yeah yeah yeah, Will Smith. An amazing Will, Jasmine. Will Smith brings a lot to yeah, the table, he and, does. And, and you'd still want him around for sure. But Ryan, what you that? said your this is new, your new favorite live action. In terms of, of the it, live action, well, we got ones. Maleficent, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book. Uh, I Pete's like this. Dragon. Pete, I haven't seen Peach Dragon, but uh, I Guys, like Peach Dragon's real rad. Uh, I I like this one more than all those ones for sure. 
Um, what about so? I want to go around the horn. What's your favorite of the current of the current animated retellings? Uh, so you know, ben? I have to agree, Aladdin. Interesting. Uh, Sparks. I'm not sure. Come uh, back to me. Okay, Sam, Marty, Maleficent. Oh, interesting. I think uh, I'm, a, I'm I'm personally a big fan of Belle, um, but I do think I do think that Aladdin pulls away from me. Okay. Sparks? Uh, I think it's a toss-up between this and Jungle Book. Interesting. And I like Jungle Book a lot. But and I really like Pete's Dragon, but I don't, I, I, as much as it is like a, uh, you know, one of the live action remakes, it's also like a totally different movie from that original. Right. So it's hard to like think of it as the same thing. It's almost Maleficent territory of like not even the same, yeah. yet the mm-hmm. same. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I'd have to watch this again. Yeah. It's a toss. I just found like, like the goods in this movie for me are higher yeah. than like all those what, other movies. What I appreciate me. about this is it did the same thing that I love about Cinderella, which is dumb things were explained. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. um, I love that there's an acknowledgement of how Jasmine doesn't recognize Aladdin, mm-hmm. which is a thing I like in Cinderella, how they acknowledge like why he doesn't magic. immediately recognize her. Yeah. Lots I, of magic. Um, you know, jungle book and Pete's dragon are, the only two examples of Disney's animated re- retellings that do what I want them to do. Christopher Robin is fantastic. Oh, yeah. oh, I but I wouldn't count that. Robin. I mean, it's not really a, a remake, but it is a live action retelling of sure. a Winnie the Pooh thing. That movie's so, awesome. So, so Peach Dragon and and um, and Jungle Book are the only two that really do what I what I'm looking for them to do, which is to take the story and try something new, go some places different. Um, don't tell me the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because we've seen it before. But that said, Peach Dragon would be my number two. Uh, Cinderella is my number one. Cinderella is really good. It has been a long time since I've seen it, but yeah. I know I like the movie it's, a lot. It's been a it, while because yeah, I, yeah. I also really enjoyed it when I saw yeah. it too. I think Aladdin sits much in that same vein though. Yeah. Like this Aladdin, I think they did do a lot to like make it its own retelling and different sure, version of the story. I, sure, but I think Aladdin kind of, I think Aladdin still sits in the in the Beauty and the Beast uh, area. I don't think well, it's, I, do I don't think, think it's, it's that hard stuff. I do think it's, I do think it's probably better than. Be, uh, you know what? You know what? Controversial opinion. I actually don't think. I think they're about comparable in quality and 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 storytelling. Definitely the you 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 talked about this. The further I get from Beauty and the Beast, the more problems I have with it. Whereas yeah. right now, like the problems I have with Aladdin are just Jafar. <laughs> That's really it. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. really it for me. Yeah, because like if if Jafar were. If Jafar, way, were if, if Jafar were more the way that we, we said, I'd be like, Aladdin's incredible. Yeah. I don't even, mm-hmm. like, Aladdin's incredible. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get out of here. Final let's th- get out. Final thoughts and ratings. Oh, wait, I did want to talk about one last thing. Uh, I really like the credits. That they do the credits like the end of a uh, stage musical and they just do this big dance number with oh, all the yeah. actors oh, and everything. Yeah. I thought that was great. I that wish was cool. Jafar was there. I don't because he was terrible. No, if he was I know, good, I would have. No, I know, but like it's a just silly fun, like yeah. Bollywood dance number. Like oh, everyone's there. Like that'd be cute if he was just like like you said like sitting in the back angry. I think that'd be cute. No, like I said it would be really stupid. Genie. Yes, I said it would be really stupid if they cut to inside the lamp and he was doing the Bollywood dance with Iago by himself. Oh, even and I said that would be really dumb. Oh and my I'm god, glad they didn't do it. That might save the movie. All right, <laughs> the so Jafar. Ryan, final thoughts and give it a rating. Yeah, man, I uh, Aladdin is one of my favorites besides Hercules. So uh, uh, I'm glad uh, with everything they did besides besides the villain. Um, like I I I enjoyed this way more than I thought I was going to for sure. Uh, I'd give it an eight point five. Highly enjoyable. Ben, yeah, Jafar sucks. Will Smith is incredible. Naomi Scott is amazing. Main character kind of, he's not bad. He's not a great, but he's he's good. I, I, it's a fun time. I would definitely say solid eight point, solid eight. Sparks. Yeah, I had a uh, I had a really good time watching this. Mm-hmm. I really want to watch it again. Um, maybe my opinion will evolve over time, but right now, Will Smith being this fun and really making the genie his own, which I'm so glad he was able to pull off. It's awesome. That's, that is a feat. Mm-hmm. That itself is just a great feat, and good on him for doing it. Uh, Naomi Scott's Jasmine, like, so many good things, except Jafar. And uh, that, that puts me much in the same boat. I echo a lot of what I've already said and what other people have said. Uh, 8.5. Uh, Sam? Um, I, I love it. Everything was great. Uh, well, obvious. Every, so that's the thing everything. that we've already talked about. <laughs> um, and I, I think what's great about these retellings is even though they're like pretty similar to the the animated ones, they're the animated ones. The the animation is getting like outdated, and so I like that Hard my children are really enjoying these new ones 
because they're not interested in the animated versions anymore because it's too old. So I, I really appreciate it. I really liked the movie. I thought it was done well. I'm really excited that my daughter has like a Jasmine to look up to now. And I give it a nine. Heck yeah. Did, uh, sorry, real quick. Didn't you say earlier that your daughter f- f- freaked okay. out hardcore because oh, she yes. was you got to tell us. This. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so my daughter was very mad that she was not in the same clothes. My daughter who changes her clothes like five times a day because she's that kind of princess. Um, she was very upset that she was not in the traditional outfit for the whole episode or for the whole movie. And so after we got done with Brightburn, I had to talk to her on the phone and explain to her that it's okay that she had different clothes on because just like she likes to change her clothes, Jasmine also wanted to change her clothes. Man. Um, and then... Then she hung up. So I think <laughs> she was pretty happy with it. Oh, to so, be a kid. Yeah. <laughs> That's All hilarious. Right. All right, Marty. Uh, for me, uh, Jeannie was a nine. Uh, Jasmine was an eight. Aladdin was a five. Ooh. And yeah. Jafar was a three. Yeah. And so I would give it like a uh, seven. I appreciate okay. that. So, yeah. Um, I echo a lot of what, of what <laughs> you guys said. As, as, I, as I've constantly said, what I, what I said when Lion King was even announced... Um, what I want from these films, different. Try something different. You have source material to go for. I feel that I, I feel that this film sits in the same realm as it, Cinderella is my favorite, but it does sit in that same realm as Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. As far as just you're giving me the same thing, you are giving me the same thing. This is the same story with different beats and blah blah blah. But that doesn't mean a bad product. I do think that the product that, it, that they delivered is still good. Like I said, Cinderella. Um, but what separates Peach Dragon and Jungle Book is that they do try to do that, something different. And so for that alone, while Will Smith does highlight, does, does, does do a lot to make this movie much better than it really honestly deserves to be. Um, as, as Spark said, uh, it is a feat that he's able to create something unique while, um, while a tribute to Robin Williams, Genie. Um, I still think I'd probably go with a 7.5. I think I'm, I'm probably sitting about there. Uh, you heard it here first. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Aladdin. Right. Um, this has been us. You guys, if you guys are listening to this, you know where we're at. Um, because, uh, we're at the Fake Nerd Podcast everywhere. You guys want to say anything else before we get out of here? Um, fake Nerd Guys at gmail.com? <laughs> no, just in general. Find us on YouTube. Oh, fake um, Nerd Podcast. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, call your mother. Okay. Um, do your taxes. Um, it's too late to do your taxes. Uh, wash your wash your bed sheets every couple weeks. It's something I don't do enough of. Um, yeah. Um, that's about of, it. We could we could all learn that lesson. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. Um. Yeah. Uh. Thank you to everyone who contributes and listens. We greatly appreciate it. Fake guy. Fake podcast on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Fake nerd guys at gmail dot com. Uh. I'm BT McClellan on Instagram and Twitter. Sparks, where are you? Sparks Witty on Instagram. S P A R K Z Witty. Uh, ben. Ben Magnet 27 on Instagram and Twitter. Ryan. Uh, DJ Tony Snark at everything. Uh, Sam and Marty, they can't find you anywhere, right? They can't find me. Okay. <laughs> oh. um, you guys know what's coming up if you listen to our main show, but we got Ken Knapsack. Uh, we got Mike Matola. We got other review specials. Got a shit ton of movies to review. <laughs> Next week, we have Godzilla King of the Monsters on the main, on the main episodes. Ah! Ow. Hell yeah. Uh, Super excited. Until it's next pre-onk. week, guys. Stay f- until next time. I guess this is special. Until next time, guys. Oh, uh, Prince Boo Boo. Stay fake nerds. <laughs> <laughs>